Hello people, welcome to Beginner's Guides. I know I said I'm going to make a bow and hybrid video, but I had just had too much fun doing a fencer build and I decided to make one. So what are fencers? They're a cavalry of battle brothers, they hunt down any weak targets, flank everything, just like those OP medieval two knights. They're extremely good against goblins, good against any target with medium armor like Nomad. In fact, they're good against pretty much all enemy types except for the orc warriors. So they even have role in their orc fights. And so you wanna go for at least 80 HP and you want at least over 90 melee attack because that you don't have any bonus chance to hit with lunge unlike sword slash. And with melee defense, you are adding up some more with dodge, but you want at least 25 and as much as you can get. With the fatigue, you wanna be able to use at least 3 lunge, which is 19 fatigue per lunge if you're going for a sword mastery, times 3 plus 8, which is just 4 fatigue to move any tile, special swamp tile or anything that makes you cost any more action points. So 65 would be the bare minimum you want to go for but I'd probably go for at least something like 80 or 90 to perform more lunges because lunges and with initiative just pile up as much as you can. Realistically it'll be something like 140-ish and it's gonna allow you to act first every turn unless you're debuffed into dazed or sand attack. And with resolve since you're gonna be surrounded a lot you want 45 but possibly more because you're not gonna be in the banners area of effect. And with the backgrounds, fences are really stat hungry so you want lots of good stats to start with in the first place. Try picking something like a high initiative background, probably like thieves and assassins are can be top tier but they're just so hard to find a good one. Perk, start with student. At level 3 you would go for Colossus, it's just best friend of Nimble Brothers because you have less chance of getting hit and your HP investment becomes much more economical. And level 4 you're going for a dodge, level 5 you're getting relentless of course, and level 6 underdog you're gonna get surrounded a lot. Level 7 you're gonna go for Nimble, level 8 you'd go for a duelist first. Depending on your play style, you can also go for something like Berserk or Battle Frenzy first. And after that, you'll just go standard with Berserk and Killing Frenzy. And at level 11, you'll take Sword Mastery and Recover. Sword Mastery, I'd say, can be optional because you can just launch with 25 extra. And it actually doesn't give you any benefit with Fencing Sword. But what other perks are you really gonna take? Maybe Pathfinder is... My only guess if I if I have really high fatigue brother, but I just go for the sword mastery. And with recover, you can actually take it a bit earlier instead of killing frenzy. Well you're gonna run out of fatigue real fast with fencers and fencers who can't launch isn't as good as fencers who can. So I might consider taking recover a little bit earlier depending on the playstyle and you wanna make the brother as useful as soon as possible. And that's pretty much it for the build. This is how you use fences. You just lunge, lunge, and lunge. Lunge. Throw another lunge. And lunge. Against some tough fights like Barbarian Chosens, basically create a battle leg like just I did, and just lunge the hell out of them. With the enough armor penetration, you can pretty much go through them like a butter. Only thing that you can't go through is something really heavily armored like orc warriors or maybe noble knights. So against orcs, as soon as you identify that all the orc youngs and berserkers are focused in the center and see that orc warlord or any high value targets that you gotta tank off with tankers is actually located on site, distribute your tankers in a way that so that they are actually tanking orc warriors rather than the orc youngs and just send your fencers into the middle hunting down all the berserkers and the orc youngs and just tear them down as soon as possible and help out with the orc warriors. One important thing to note, fencing swords are very fragile so don't let them break and just keep an eye on the weapon durability when you're actually attacking orc warriors because they're gonna go down really really fast. So lunging does more damage with more initiative you have. It starts at 89 where you get no bonus on damage at all and it caps at 175 according to wiki so realistically 
as I said before, you'll probably have something like 140. And with that and Killing Frenzy, it's actually gonna do huge damage to anything unarmored, enough to pretty much one-shot anything like goblins. And it'll, as you have seen before, it'll inflict huge damage to orc youngs and things in medium armor like chosen so fences are really good for pretty much anything else another important thing to notice that's mobility where as you can see i'm fighting a bunch of hyenas and i'm on a high ground i can also attack hyenas on the same high ground i can attack hyenas on the lower ground but i wouldn't be able to attack anything that's two tiles above the height and last thing to watch out for is just don't get surrounded because fencers aren't that tanky and they wouldn't last long if they get surrounded after you perform one lunge. So try to plan your way out before you actually lunge into an enemy. And that's it for the video people. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. I'm actually surprised that I'm getting subscribers at all. I know I have to make bow and thrower hybrid at some point. Which is brother that you want in every team. Anyway, see you next time.